Spiders by Gail Gibbons. Spiders may look scary, but most of them don't hurt people. There are about 30,000 different kinds of spiders. Spiders come in many shapes and sizes. Some are so tiny that they are no bigger than a speck of dust. Others can be as big as a dinner plate. Most spiders are brown, gray, or black. Some have bright colors. The first spiders lived about 300 million years ago, even before dinosaurs roamed the earth. Spiders belong to a group of animals called arachnids. The word arachnid comes from an old Greek legend. Once there was a woman named Arachne who was angry when she lost a weaving contest against the goddess Athena. When Arachne died, Athena turned Arachne's body into a spider so she could weave forever. A spider's body. A spider's body has two parts, the abdomen and the cephalothorax. Cephalothorax means head chest. Most spiders have eight eyes. A spider has eight legs. Some spiders spin silk with tiny organs called spinnerets. Pedipalps, a spider has pedipalps to feel and to squeeze body juices from its prey. Spiders are not insects. An insect's body. Most insects have two big eyes, often with three smaller eyes between them. Many insects have wings. Thorax, head, abdomen. Antenna, an insect antenna is for touch and smell. An insect has six legs. An insect's body has three parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Spiders are not insects. Their bodies are different from insects in many ways. A male spider is smaller than a female spider. When a male spider finds a mate, he must be careful. If the female spider is hungry, she might eat him. Some male spiders do a dance or bring an insect to attract a female. A mother spider lays her eggs and encloses them in a strong silk egg sac. Some spiders lay a few eggs, others lay thousands. After a number of weeks, the baby spiders creep out of the silk sac Spider babies are called spiderlings. Egg sac, spiderling. Most spider mothers don't stay with their babies. Some spiderlings care for themselves as soon as they are born. They run up to the highest places they can find. The spiderlings spin out long streamers of silk. A breeze lifts them and carries them to their new homes. This way of travel is called ballooning. Streamer, ballooning. As a spiderling grows, its hard outer skin called an exoskeleton becomes tight. 
the skin cracks open along its back. The spider sheds it by climbing out. This is called molting. Most spiders molt five to 10 times. Some spiders are web weavers. They spin webs to catch their food. There are spiders that weave tangled webs. The spider spins a tangled mass of silk. When an insect is trapped, the spider runs out to get it. House spider. Other spiders weave sheet webs. The spider hangs upside down beneath the web. When an insect hits the sheet web, the spider quickly pulls it through the webbing. Cardinal spider. Spiders create funnel webs too. The top is big and the bottom is small. The web is held in place by lines of silk. The spider sits at the bottom and waits for an insect to fly or walk in. Grass spider. Some spiders spin triangle webs. A triangle web is fastened at three points. The web's bands of dry and sticky silk trap insects. Triangle spider. The orb weaving spider spins a pattern of many circles. First, the spider spins a few lines of silk to hold up the web. Then, it adds lines of silk that look like the spokes of a wheel. Around and around the spider goes, adding a sticky coil to the spokes. Next, the spider waits for its meal in the center of the web, or it waits nearby. The most beautiful spider web of all is the orb web. When an insect lands on the web, the web shakes. Instantly, the spider pounces. It wraps the insect in silk. Then it stuns the insect with its poisonous fangs. Garden spider. If the spider is hungry, it eats the insect right away. If not, it waits until later. Not all spiders use webs for catching food. Some hide in burrows or beneath rocks and stones. When the spider sees an insect, it quickly runs out and grabs it. Wolf spider. One unusual kind of spider lives underwater. It weaves a bell-shaped web. Then it fills the web with tiny bubbles. The spider stays there, breathing the air from the bubbles and waits to catch water insects. Water spider. Another type of spider digs a tunnel and lines it with silk. To protect itself, it makes a hinged trap door from dirt and silk to cover the tunnel. When the spider is hungry, it opens the door a bit. If an insect comes close, the spider scurries out to catch it. Trap door spider. Some spiders hide on or inside flowers. One spider even changes color from yellow to white to match the color of the flower. When an insect lands, the spider snatches it. Crab spider. Some spiders are dangerous. One of them is the black widow spider. The black widow spider bites only when its web is disturbed or it is in danger. The poison of a black widow spider can kill a person. 
tarantula. The biggest spider of all is the tarantula. When its legs are stretched out, it can measure about 10 inches wide. It is very hairy. Tarantulas that live in the United States are not poisonous to people. Spiders have enemies. Some insects like spider wasps hunt and eat spiders. Toads, frogs, and some birds like to eat spiders too. Most spiders live for about one year. Some live much longer. Female tarantulas sometimes live to be 25 years old. Many people don't like spiders because they are afraid of them, but spiders help us. They play an important role by eating many insects that are harmful to crops and people. Spiders can be interesting to watch. Scientists are still discovering new kinds of spiders and learning more about them. Spiders, spiders, spiders. Remember the nursery rhyme, Little Miss Muffet? Well, Little Miss Muffet was a real little girl. Her father was a spider expert who used to make her eat mashed spiders when she was sick. About 200 years ago, this was a common cold remedy. Some spiders can walk on water. The raft spider does this by spreading its legs wide while it takes quick steps. Spiders have an excellent sense of touch. Their bodies, mouths, and legs are covered with fine sensory hairs. Eek! A person who is terrified of spiders has arachnophobia. Spider silk is three times stronger than steel thread the same thickness. The deadliest spider in the world is the Brazilian wandering spider. Spiders don't stick to their own webs because their feet are specially shaped and their bodies are covered with oil. Some spiders spin a special line called a drag line. If an enemy comes, the spider can quickly drop down the drag line and escape. Not many animals eat ants because they taste badly. One spider is protected because it looks like an ant. It is called an ant mimic. Spiders can walk up walls and across ceilings because they have special grip pads on their feet. Spider by Pauline Carey. I swing in the breeze, I float in the trees, I hang in the sky, I climb very high, I spin silver thread, my web is my bed, I'm spider. Strange wonders drop in the web that I spin, the sunlight and stars, some space dust from Mars, petals from flowers, rainbows from showers, surprises. My web is destroyed by the wind, by an arm or a hand, by the rain, and I have to start spinning my thread Every day, a new home once again. But I spin all day in the hope I may catch a bite to eat when my web's complete. For as long as I spin, a bug may drop in. I'm spider. Little Jumpers by Deborah Churchman.
Many kinds of spiders can hop about, but jumpers are amazing leapers. Some jumpers can jump as far as 40 times the length of their own bodies. If you were five feet tall and could jump like that, you could leave over five school buses in a row. Before leaping, this spider attached a thin line of silk to the bramble berry it was standing on. How big are jumping spiders? This one from Florida is very big for a jumping spider. Most are only about the size of a pencil eraser. Found a little spider? Does it have a square shaped head like this one? If it does, you have your first clue that it's a jumping spider. Next clue, look for really big eyes. The final test for whether or not your spider is a jumper is, does it jump? So check out the jumpers. Cute and curious, fast and furious. Jumping spiders are all around.